Some of you may have been eating Ghana Jollof without even realizing. <laughs> Let me show you how to make it. This is my first time making Ghana Jollof and I was surprised at the similarities it has with our own Nigerian Jollof. Let's start with the plum tomatoes. This is actually so cool. Regular tomatoes also work. Next is our scotch bonnet. We have ginger, we have garlic, we have some green chili, we have onions and then sweet bell peppers. Yes, so they don't use tatashe in their own recipe. I also substituted the red chili for green chili so you can use red chili instead. Add some oil into your pots, fry some onions. I added some mixed herbs and then add some tomato paste. You're going to fry that until it looks like this. Pour in the blended mix from earlier, allow that to fry, add your bay leaves, some nutmeg, some curry and thyme, then I put some stock cubes. You're going to allow that to cook until it tastes and looks good, then put in your Typically rice. for Ghana Jollof, you want to use fragrant rice or long grain rice. Add some chicken stock because I love to be extra, I'm going to allow that to cook. By the way, talking about